Our first question is from Sister Amina from the USC, and she's asking, why is it when a woman wears the proper hijab that she is portrayed as being an extremist? Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyihi wa mustafa, Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa All praise due to Allah, we praise him and we seek his help. Whomsoever Allah guides is a truly guided one, and whomsoever Allah leads astray, no one can show him guidance. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship, but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his last messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the Quran, Allah the Almighty recorded um, a very important fact. He said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا كَانُوا مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَضْحَكُونَ وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ وَإِذَا انْقَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ انْقَلَبُوا فَكِهِينَ وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَؤُلَاءِ لَضَالُّونَ وَمَا أُرْسِلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ حَافِظِينَ The previous verses of Surah Al-Mutafifin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recorded exactly the way that the disbelievers, the unbelievers, the criminals, mock at and make fun of the believers. They make fun of them whenever they pray. They make fun of them whenever they recite the Qur'an. They make fun of them whenever they dress modestly. They make fun of them whenever they observe their religious duties. They make fun of them, they mock at them, and they laugh at their performance. Allah, Allah. subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَكُونَ There will be a day on which the, the believers will recline on their couches and will be laughing and mocking at the criminals, those who used to mock at them in this life. For being uh, sticking to the religious commitment which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordained upon the believers. This is a worldly tradition. Nothing has changed and it will not change until the day of judgment. Similar to what happened to the prophets. We're talking about not you and I, not religious scholars, not righteous people. We're talking about prophets who were supported by miracles from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who had been receiving revelations from Allah, Allah would send Jibreel alayhi salam to reveal to them whatever instructions he wanted to convey to mankind, and they belied them. And they said, you know what, you guys are sorcerers, you're magicians, you're soothsayers, and it was very common to say, anta majnoon, you're crazy, you're insane. Knowing for fact that they are not, none of the above. But this is the traits and the habits of the criminals. So I assure the believers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for them the gardens of paradise as a result of their patience. As a result of their patience. يُجِزَوْنَ uh, الْغُرْفَةَ بِمَا صَبَرُوا by the end of Surah Al-Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about those who would endure their religious commitments and practices patiently, they shall be rewarded with heaven as a result of what? As a result of their patience. Uh, those who will uh, be very weak and once they are stopped by somebody who would make fun of them, would laugh at them or threat them, so they would quit. Or a woman would take off her hijab. Or, or, or. They're very weak uh, believers. They're very weak believers. Once Abdullah ibn Mas'ud learned the Qur'an from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and he was a very weak companion, weak with regards to his uh, uh, physical uh, body uh, uh, structure. But in reality, his iman was kind of the strongest. So he went to Al-Kaaba and he was the first to declare the Qur'anic verses and he recited them out loud. So Abu Jahl came. And he slapped him. And the slap was so extreme to the point that he tore his ear. He came to the Prophet ﷺ and he was crying. So the Nabi ﷺ comforted him and he assured him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take revenge for him. Oh. A few years later on the Battle of Badr, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud sits on the chest of Abu Jahl. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was a shepherd, a very little shepherd. And he was a slave. So he's sitting on his chest holding him from the head. And Abu Jahl says to him, لَقَدْ اِرْتَقَيْتَ مُرْتَقًا صَعْبًا يَا رُوَيْعِيَ الْغَنَمِ He doesn't even call him a shepherd. He's minimizing his name, that mm -hmm. you're not even a complete shepherd. Mm -hmm. So Abu uh, 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 Abdullah ibn Mas'ud chopped off his head. 
and he brought it to the Prophet Wasallam. He said, now you're even. A day will come where the believers would take avenge. A day will come, if not in this life, in the hereafter. فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَكُونَ عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنظُرُونَ Reclining on their couches, laughing and looking at them. هَلْ ثُوِّبَ الْكُفَّارُ مَا كَانُوا يَفْعَلُونَ Have you gotten paid properly your compensation as a result of mocking at the believers? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Uh, 